FT25 series are made by Photon Lovell with optimized design and manufacturing technology from China and abroad. They are made at the Photon Car Workshop. The tractors feature fashionable appearance, tightened structure, strong tow and convenient maintenance. They can be equipped with corresponding accessories. Chapter 1 FT25 Series Tractors Operation and Maintenance Manual 1. Rules for Safe Operation Before driving the tractor, please read the manual operation. 1. The driver must be properly licensed. Drivers must be specially trained and licensed. Licenses should be checked in good time. Driving should not commence until the instructions have been read carefully. 2. Abiding by safety operation regulation. When the tractor starts, you must check that there is nothing blocking your way. Blockages must be removed and kept away from those around the tractor. 2. Do not start or operate the tractor unless the seat is in place. When starting the tractor, do not allow persons to go up and down the tractor. The tractor should not be checked or repaired while in operation. 3. The tractor must not be used on a decline in neutral gear. Also, you must not step on the clutch to coast. Parking on slope. You must use the parking brake and use a triangle block to plug the rear tires. Never allow the tractor to work with detected problems. Be especially aware of the tractor having no oil pressure, low oil pressure, high water temperature, or emitting abnormal noise or odor. These are among the safety checks that should be carried out regularly. 3. Strictly abide by traffic regulations. When running, the driver must strictly abide by traffic regulations. It is prohibited to drive after drinking alcohol. Do not work with an overloaded tractor. Do not drive the tractor if you feel unwell or sleepy. 4. When using the tractor, you must handle for fire. Before filling with oil, you must first stop the engine. You must not smoke when filling the oil or repairing the fuel system. When using the tractor in the yard, install a fireproof net on the exhaust pipe. 5. Keep a careful eye on items being used when you're running with suspensions. Running with suspension. Turn the round knob of the speed control valve anti-clockwise fully to lock the working device. When the driver leaves the tractor, the working device must be dropped to the ground. Before using the device, check the cooperation rationality of the tractor and the device. On the farm, keep an angle between the PDO shaft and the universal transmission shaft not over 10 degrees. When the tractor is transporting, keep the clearance between the revolve knife and ground not lower than 400 millimeters and ensure that the first plow needle is not lower than 490 millimeters from the ground. 2. Correct operation of the tractor 1. Start tractor 1. Preparing to start Check the oil level of the engine oil pan Then, check the oil level of the gearbox and rear axle 
Next, check the hydraulic oil level of the lifter. Then, check the coolant quantity of radiator tank and insert your key to connect the instrument circuit. Next, check the oil quantity. If any of the above is abnormal, please fill it in good time. 2. Before starting, fix the hand throttle in the middle of the throttle. Put the gear shift lever in neutral position. Confirm the PDO shaft is in release position. Finally, push the extinguish handle in. 3. Turn the startup key clockwise to start position. Start the engine. Continuous startup time cannot exceed 15 seconds. If you cannot start the tractor within 15 seconds, first pause for 2 minutes, then try it again. If the machine cannot start after 3 attempts, find out why before attempting to start the machine again. 4. Keep the engine idle speed to 800 revolutions per minute for several minutes. Only after oil pressure lamp is off and water temperature ascends to high can the tractor start. 2. Running of the tractor. 1. Pace up of tractor. Diesel engine runs at low speed. Tread down clutch pedal to make main clutch release. Push gear shift lever to engage gear that you need. Turn on steering lamp. Check if there are any blockages. Run into driveway. Turn off steering lamp. Slowly release clutch pedal to make tractor start steadily. After pace up, quickly loosen clutch pedal. Engage throttle gradually to make tractor reach the required speed. It is forbidden to use semi-engaging the clutch to reduce speed. When operational, do not continuously tread down the clutch pedal, as this will cause abrasion. 2. Steering of tractor. If speed is high while steering, reduce your speed first. When the tractor turns direction at a small turn or in soft fields, you can brake by side braking. Do not use side braking to turn sharply while the tractor is running at high speed. When turning with a wide arc and the safety valve is sounded, withdraw steering wheel to avoid damage to the hydraulic system. Before swerving or reversing, Ensure the working parts of the operational device are lifted above ground in case of accident. Three, gear shift of tractor. Before gear shift, reduce throttle, tread down clutch pedal to release the main clutch completely in case of impact, then engage gear. When shifting gear, do not use excessive force to manipulate the gear shift, or the travel bound slice will be broken and damage the gears. Four, braking of tractor. Reduce engine throttle and tread down clutch pedal, then slowly tread brake pedal to make tractor stop steadily. If you meet an emergency, control direction and reduce throttle quickly. Meanwhile, tread down clutch and brake pedals. 
Don't tread down the brake pedal alone. Left and right brake pedals must be interlocked to avoid traction running deflection or overturn or worse. Three, halt and extinguish of tractor. One, wait for the tracting parking and engage idle gear. Loosen the clutch and brake pedals. Reduce the engine throttle to make it idle. Pull the extinguish thread to stop oil supply, then let it stop. Finally, draw back thread. Two, below zero degrees in winter. If no coolant is being used, you must drain off water at idle speed to avoid freezing the engine body and water tank. Then stop the engine. Four, operation of differential lock. 1. When tractor is sliding, push forward differential control lever to keep two rear wheels running at the same speed. Make the tractor drive away from the sliding area or keep it hitching working device in a beeline. 2. Pushing the control lever back can release them. 2. When the tractor is running or turning, do not use differential lock to avoid damaging the tractor parts. 5. Operation of PDO Shaft 1. Tread down the clutch pedal to the end to separate the clutch. Push forward the PDO shift gear handle and then get a high speed, around 720 revolutions per minute. Push backward, a low speed of 540 revolutions per minute. Loosen the clutch slowly, then the PDO shaft will join. 2. When revolving, Choose a gear shift on the basis of soil and the depth of the plow. Three. When assembling the PDO shaft, you must seek professional help. When transferring for a long distance, push the PDO control handle aside to cut off power in case of damage. Six. Usage of the front driving axle of the FT25 series. The tractor uses four-wheel drive with load in field or in paddy field. While running, the tractor can't use the front driving axle. Link and release control of the front axle must be operated when the tractor is parked. When you lift up the control handle, the front axle power is linking. When you push down the control handle, the front driving force is cut off. Seven. Usage of tractor cover parts. The bonnet adopts a streamlined and metal structure. Opening method. Push down the unlock handle. The bonnet lock is now open. Hold the bonnet to lift 
and it will open automatically. Closing method. Draw the bonnet downwards to a certain angle. The bonnet lock will close and the lock tighten automatically. A. Operation of the hydraulic suspension system and the hydraulic output. The FT25 series adopts semi-separated type hydraulic lifting system and has position adjustment and height adjustment. Lift and descend implements by operating the handle of the distributor. Button downward to make the implement descend, button backward to make the implement lift. One, adjust device depth by adjusting height adjustment. When the tractor links implement with field wheel, adopt height control. Control depth by adjusting height between field wheel and bottom of plow. Put descending block at lowest position. When the implement is down to required depth, handle remains in descending position. The implement will work at this depth. Two, adjust device depth by adjusting position of adjustment. When implement without field wheel, adopt position adjustment. Plowing depth will be decided by descending block position. Descending blocker will be fixed on an optional position to lower the implement to the required depth. It will stop descending and work under this depth when the block pin touches the descending block. Three, adjustment of implement. Take the adjustment of the plow, for example. One, adjustment level of plow frame. Adjust the level of the right lift lever to make the plow frame level, keeping the same depth. Turn round the spiral shell to make the lever elongate. The depth of the first shear plow will become deeper and vice versa. 2. Horizontal adjustment. Adjust the up pull rod. When the depth of the front plow is deep or rear plow heel is away from channel bottom, elongate the up pull rod and vice versa. 4. Adjustment of descending speed of implements. Descending speed can control descended speed on basis of weight type, soil, physical characteristics, etc. Choosing descending speed tools can keep the tools from breaking down. Turning round the adjuster clockwise, descending speed of tools will become slow and vice versa. Five, adjustment of limited lever. The limited lever is used to prevent down pull rod and implement in the course of lifting from swaying to strike the rear wheels. Make it have a proper length. Limited lever must not be adjusted too tight. Six, hydraulic output. When implement or trailer needs oil pressure, push position adjustment handle to descending position. Put the out lifting arm in the lowest position and drain hydraulic oil out. Then turn around descending speed adjustment valve clockwise to cut off oil way into lifting cylinder. Connect the positive joint of quick exchange joint with oil joint of the implement. Connect the negative joint of the hydraulic output with the positive joint of the implement. Then push the distributor handle to the lifting position. The hydraulic output can now be realized. 
When using the hydraulic output with implement at a lifting position, if close descending speed valve to make oil cylinder can't return oil, the implement is locked to transportation. Adjusting the valve has the function of a hydraulic lock. 9. Adjustment of seat. The seat of the FT25 series tractor is adjustable. Pull adjusting lever downside. Meantime, force the seat forward or backward. Release the handle at the required position.